What is going on? It's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In previous video, we talked about Clostridium tetani, Clostridium botulinum, Clostridium perfringens. Today, it's time for Clostridium difficile, also known as C. diff, which can be asymptomatic or can lead to pseudomembranous colitis and toxic megacolon. This can kill you. Such is medicine. One cause can lead to a mild disease in some people. Form frusta. Or a severe, full-blown picture in other individuals or in other circumstances. Form plan. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Clostridium difficile is a gram-positive rod, spore-forming, yes, aerobic or anaerobic, anaerobic, motile or not, motile. It can produce two types of toxins. Toxin A is enterotoxin, toxin B is cytotoxin. The second letter in the alphabet is cytotoxic. Can they make spores? Yes, they can, but that's not the big deal. The big deal is their toxins. Toxin A is enterotoxin, toxin B is cytotoxin. The structure and function of spores were mentioned in previous videos. Clostridia are gram-positive bacteria, strictly anaerobic. They make endospores, they are unable to reduce sulfate to sulfite. Why do we fear them? Because they are everywhere around you, because they can make spores, they can produce toxins, and they can grow even when oxygen is no more. Anaerobic conditions. Pause and review. Clostridium difficile is everywhere, it colonizes your gut. In fact, it was so abundant. To the point that in the good old days, which were not so good, doctors simply ignored it. They said, oh, it's everywhere, like, people have it. Healthy people have it, sick people have it, so we don't care. But later, when we discover the toxins, and we discover the diseases that can be caused by C. diff, and the mortality caused by C. diff, we started to pay attention. Tell me about the toxins. Toxin A is enterotoxin, toxin B is cytotoxin. Tell me about the enterotoxin or toxin A. It's a toxin that is toxic to your enterocytes, to the cells of your intestine. How come? It recruits neutrophils by chemotaxis, which leads to and stimulates the infiltration of those neutrophils into your intestines, releasing cytokines in the process. Cytokines include interleukins, the internet of the leukocytes. This is how white blood cells communicate and recruit each other. Moreover, this enterotoxin disrupts the tight junction between your intestinal cells, increasing and altering the permeability in the wall in the intestine. Altering the permeability, such as in case of Clostridium perfringens as well, leads to fluid loss and watery diarrhea and volume depletion. This was toxin A. Toxin B is cytotoxic, toxic to the cell. How come? It's toxic to the cytoskeleton of your cell. Which cell? The enterocyte. How come? By actin depolymerization. Remember that actin is part of your cytoskeleton. Go back and review your basic histology you freaking ungrateful piece of melanin. I'm just joking, I'm sorry. Read a book, Cody. Hey, medicosis, are these the only virulence factors? No, not by any stretch of the imagination. We also have surface layer proteins that help the Clostridium difficile bacteria bind to your enterocytes and facilitate toxin production, I mean toxin A and toxin B, which can lead to tissue damage. Hey, medicosis, tell me about the diseases, like symptomatology. Some people have no symptoms whatsoever, called asymptomatic carriage or asymptomatic colonization. But other peoples have the mild form, form fluste, gastroenteritis and self-limiting diarrhea. But others have a severe form, pseudomembranous colitis, toxic megacolon, and everything in between. This classic distinction between form fruste and form plein was coined by the famous French physician Trousseau, the same person who discovered Trousseau sign of hypocalcemia as well as Trousseau sign of malignancy. All right, medicosis, I have a question. I have C. diff in my gut. Does that necessarily mean that I will get sick? 
Not necessarily. Okay, metacosis, I have C. diff in my gut, and this C. diff is producing toxins in huge amounts. Does that mean that I will get sick? Not necessarily. As Jordan Peterson might say in New York, quote, Well, it's complicated, you know? Close quote. In the next video, we'll talk about the diseases caused by Clostridium difficile and the classic stories of the metro and the van and the FedEx truck. Let's review some Clostridium difficile from Picmonic. Clostridium, here's the classroom, difficile, differential equations, is a gram-positive bacterium, here is the angel for positive. It's a bacillus, here is the rod. Anaerobe, here is the ant in a robe. Why did I develop this disease? Because you took too much clindamycin and ampicillin. Clindamycin, cleaning mice. Ampicillin, amplifier pencil. Toxin A is enterotoxin. Toxin B is cytotoxic. Here is toxin A, apple for A, which damages the brush border of your intestine. But toxin B is cytotoxin. It damages the actin filament of your cytoskeleton of your enterocytes. To be continued later, if you like this video, please download my antibiotics course on my website. It will teach you about vancomycin, metronidazole, fidoxomycin, clindamycin, ampicillin, among others. I also have a surgery high yields course an emergency medicine high yields course, a cardiac pharmacology course, neuropharmacology course, chemotherapeutics pharmacology course, and gazillion other courses. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.